live in isn't the world of facts and figures. It's a world of dreams. Maybe that's what I like about you, Irene. You're so beautifully phony. And maybe you're wrong, my darling. Maybe we two cheap people with our cheap lives. Maybe we're the only ones in this crazy world who are real. Russian song entitled Coxtrana, meaning how strange. One of those morose ballads about how once we met for one immortal moment, like ships that pass in the night, or maybe like a couple of trucks sideswiping each other. And now, I got a hunch we meet again. Were you always a blonde? Why, well, yes. As far back as I can remember. Was that other one, the one that I remind you of, was she blonde? She had red hair, but I even suspected that. Hey, girls, come up here. I want you to meet the head man. Captain Kerbine, this is Miss Shirley Lawton, owner of the Rottenest Voice on Two Continents. Charlie. Hiya, Captain. And Miss Beulah Tremoy. Hmm, how'd you do? Uh, Beulah's our bubble dancer and quite a dreamer. Exquisite. And next, Miss Francine Merrill, a daughter of the Old South. <clears throat> Very alluring, eh, Captain? Magnificent. Thank you ever so much. I love Turn it off, honey. If you're blue, and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where Harlem sticks? yourself, why shouldn't they die? And who are the greater criminals? Those who sell the instruments of death or those who buy them and use them? It is they who make war seem noble and heroic. What is it, Captain? Enemy airplanes. Reprise from last night. They're coming to destroy our base here. I see. Because they have no reason to attack us with labor. Accidents might easily happen. Uh, by the cellar. I saw through you from the very beginning. And you adore me, don't you, darling? Did I ever say so? No, of course not. You must never admit it. You must never change that funny character. 